What is good, people of the internet? I'm, I'm me. I'm making a speed start tutorial. Speed start is easy. Watch and learn, beautiful people of the internet. You can just speed start. It's free. Free trick. Save like 1.6 seconds. The first try. Look at this. 7.16. Let's compare that to our good friend. The normal start. Where you do this and then you get speed off of that. And then you do this and perfect. 8.8. .8. Wow, crazy. I think the fastest ever was an 8.56. Something like that. You're, you're saving... Uh... 1.5 seconds, in this case 1.6 like or 1.7 seconds on just the very first split of the game. This is a must-know trick for anyone that wants to be serious in this game. Uh, that being said, I thought I would go ahead and um, explain it. You might notice a couple things. Uh, this is not the normal build. This is my build. I'm running on Turbo Warp because Turbo Warp is fantastic. But this is a speedrunning build. You can tell because it says speedrun in the no sin credits. It lets you change the colors of things like the player and like, I don't know, the background. It's pretty dope. It also has hundredths place, the only possible change. The, the input display that I have here is not on the speedrunning build, but I'm thinking of adding it because it kind of is nice. Long story short, I'm going to show you how to do it. Speed start is easy. Easy trick. Easy trick, easy life. We already went over that. But how do you do it? Uh, it starts with the most basic of inputs ever. Put Jump in and crouch at the same time. Easy. Look at that. You just do it. Look at your guy. He goes so high. Uh, the other second input of the run. After you've inputted your up and down at the exact same time, one frame after, start holding to the left. Yay, look at that. If you do it at the same time, you get a long jump. Don't want a long jump. No long jumps here. Not a long jump gang here. You want to do it one frame after. If you do it two frame after, you hit the wall. Bad. You want to do one frame after. Or like roughly at the same time. Long story short, you want your character to end up here. After you land here. At this point you should still be holding left. Uh, because left is the direction we want to head. Uh, after you land here and you're holding left, you're wanting to do... Look down at the input display down here. You want to do kind of this. The idea is it's this. After you land up at the top there, you want, you get your speed from going, you kind of walk up the slope for one frame and then you turn back, right? And then the moment after you turn back, you crouch. You'll know you get the speed when your character kind of does a little stutter step. If he doesn't do the stutter step, that means you press down a little bit too late and your speed is not as good. If you get the stutter step too much, that means you pressed down and, or like not enough of a stutter step up here. That means you don't get the speed. You want to get a nice stutter step and you'll get the speed. So yay, now you've gotten the speed. It's very consistent. Any starting frame, you just get the speed. Easy, easy, easy. You can slow down this video with period and comma while you're in pause, frame advance, frame, to, frame rewind to see exactly when I'm pressing these buttons. But it really is not that, not that hard, not that complicated. Getting the speed is the easiest part of speed start. And once you learn kind of what you're aiming for, this part is the easy part. The hard part comes from maintaining that speed. Uh, first things first, you gotta maintain it out of the crouch. You might be thinking, why not just long jump? You're already holding to the right. Why not just, no, no, your speed. Where'd all that speed that you just had go? Look at that, tons of speed, no speed. A long jump in this game is capped at 10 speed. I'm changing that for a second version of the game that I'm working on, but 10 speed is the max for a long jump. High jump has no speed map, like cap. You can just go as fast as you want. Yes, you will lose a little bit of time going for a high jump rather than a, like if a long jump didn't lose any speed. But at the end of the day, you want to basically just not be holding 
So let's say you're in this position. You want to not be holding to the right. You see I can still get the uh, crouch here. Whoops. You, you can still get the crouch here. The difference is you press right just like at the start. Just like this. You want to press right and then to the like you want to press uh, jump and crouch and then to the right that's the easy part you basically just let go press them one after the other you're already holding crouch so you just need to press jump and then crouch it's easiest actually to just hold crouch for this entire thing which is what i usually will do especially nowadays since i do a lot more momentum high jumps i sometimes release but you know, as long as you have some way of pressing jump and crouch together very consistently, you're going to need that for both the jump off of this thing here, because when you jump off of this, you want it to be a high jump. And then also, once you get all the way over here to this part of the stage, you want to jump with a high jump here. And you don't want to jump here. You don't want to jump anywhere on the slope. You want to jump cleanly kind of where this circle is, above where this circle is. Because then you can keep the speed. You'll see what I mean uh, if I get uh, an unclean one. So this one I have too much speed. If I just go for the high jump or a normal jump, I'm just gonna normal jump and I'm gonna lose my speed because I was right on that corner. But you get what, you get what I'm saying. You, the idea is for any of these, you wanna do what we call a full momentum high jump. You wanna release um, the right input for just one frame and then high jump on that frame we used to do this all the time for normal start because we could start later in the cycle that way uh, but yeah the easiest way i know to practice momentum high jumps to both the right and the left is do this v-shape motion this is something that i would just practice you can do this on any build of the game just go back and forth if you can make a clean v and go all the way up and all the way out, that means you're getting full momentum high jumps without losing any speed. Does that make sense? You're, you're just keeping your speed just like you have been. You can also do this, see how far you go. If you do that, then it's too early. If you do that, it's clean. That kind of stuff. You can try to land on that. That's another way to practice. All that matters is you need to be able to release right and press right at the same time. Basically one, uh, two frames apart. You release, then press it uh, two frames later, or like one frame later, as soon as you can repress it, and the game will register it. But yeah, that's, that is entirely what speed start is. The only thing I will say to keep an eye on is sometimes with speed start, you'll be going too fast. Uh, and in that case, you want to release. And I've done it a couple times here without thinking, but see how I miss the spinner? If I just land here, I land on the slope and I lose my speed. Even if you try to high jump frame perfectly off of a slope, you lose all of that speed and you slow way down. Even like this, I lost all my speed for hitting that part of the slope. Unless you get a perfect setup for speed start, like here, I'm gonna have to release a couple times midair and then I kept the speed for that high jump. Does that make sense? You get a feel for this, but never be afraid to release for like one frame midair over the lava pit while doing speed start. It's better to keep the speed up that slope like that than it is to like not release and then hit that slope. You just lose all your speed instead of just a tiny bit of it for one frame. That's basically all that goes into it. The last part is those wall jumps up to the flag. You want to high jump the moment you land from that either the moment or like run for a split second then high jump but you don't want to just do the high jump input and then release your input to the right you want to high jump and then be holding to the right i do this because i press up and down with my right hand on a uh, up and down arrow and a and d on my left hand and i just mash with three fingers i use my ring finger on right like the right arrow so I can just mash, release with my right left hand, and then press right with my right hand after doing a high jump. But yeah, then you'll want to do the wall jumps, which I'm sure if you've played this game before, you know how the wall jumps work. The cleanest way of doing wall jumps for me, jump and then hold in the input, because there's two ways of doing a wall jump. You can either hold the same input and 
jump like this, or you can hold jump and switch inputs like this. And it doesn't work in the same direction, so you want to do it the other way. So what you're doing by doing this and then this right after each other is basically tricking the game into turning a one frame input, because frame perfect wall jumps are frame inputs, frame perfect inputs into a two frame window. It's just easier now. And in a 30 FPS game, 15 FPS for a two frame trick, that's super easy. You can hit those every single time very clean, very repeatably without losing any time. The, the wall jump should not be why you're losing time in this run. And you can use that both here and also in the second elevator section. Um, you'll, you'll save the same amount of time by just knowing how to do those uh, clean wall jumps. Just like that. Just clean back and forth. But yeah. So that's basically all there is to it in a, in a speed start. You can see just by like the time I've spent doing this video that I feel very comfortably with this trick. It's so consistent. Uh, one other thing, if you're like slightly ahead on the moving platform cycle, you can do that high jump and you save a little bit of time. Or like you save a little bit into the cycle. Eh, you know, it just saves yourself a little bit. Oh, I forgot the one other thing. Cycle. Yeah, it's a cycle independent. You can get the speed literally any point in the vertical platform cycle. You can literally get the speed at any point in time. The difference is you just got to know when and usually I say at the top here. I might just edit that back so you get it, but you get Yeah, hopefully that helps. Uh, a lot of people have asked for tutorials and Einstein 3, the current world record holder in any percent, made a tutorial but it's not exactly um, the most fleshed out thing and he did it uh, using text he didn't he hadn't done his voice reveal yet so it was a bit you know outdated so I thought oh you know what better time than the present to finally convince people that speed starts worth learning also elevator skips practice your dang elevator skips that was clean you know go for it that, yeah, honestly, I'm going to be real. I think elevator skips are a harder thing to do than uh, than speed start. Because elevator skips is a bunch of different inputs that you kind of have to just have an in-tune timing for. But speed start is always the same thing. Every single time. You never have any... Like, you have some variance and you can be, make it more consistent the more backups you have. But you're almost always doing exactly the same thing. There's no various elevator skips will eat so many more of your runs. So practice those too, you know, very fun. Uh, but hopefully that helps uh, anyone who wanted to learn or just wanted to get more consistent or just wanted to know how I do it because I have had records in the past and I play this game way too much for my own good. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed I'm gonna make some more tutorials just for general speedrun routing and cycle finding and all kinds of other advanced techniques. Maybe a tutorial on how to do this silly maneuver, but you know, it's probably not necessary since no one plays the category that I have the world record in. But it is the way it is, you know, maybe if more people knew how to do it, they would play. But nah, glitchy elevator skips are, are the worst. No one disagrees. They're not fun to do. Yeah, but I'm good at them, so hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you we're going to have a lot more people doing speed start just in general uh, in the community. But yeah, d go for it. D the more you practice, the easier they get. I promise you. I've been talking for too long. It's been 15 minutes. I'm cop. I'm cutting it off right now. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Uh, speed run on, I guess. This game is cringe.